There is now some breaking news coming out of Cedar Point regarding their troubled new for 2024 roller coaster, Top Thrill 2. As we know, Top Thrill 2 has been closed ever since May 12th due to a suspected issue with the wheels or the wheel assemblies on the trains. There was reportedly some cracking or unexpected fatigue and thus these parts were removed from the trains and Cedar Point announced that the brand new roller coaster would be closed indefinitely. In addition, the park never announced any sort of timetable for its return to normal operation, nor did they give any clues on what the problem actually was. However, things got out eventually and now based on pictures taken by guests of the sitting trains, it is basically confirmed that the wheel assemblies were the issue. Now, videos have been captured and published on social media by people who have captured the park testing Top Thrill 2 outside of the normal park operating hours. I believe these videos were taken from the parking lot of Cedar Point's on-site resort, Hotel Breakers. Now, Zamperla has apparently re-engineered the wheel bogies to add some new reinforcement to them by beefing up the part which connects the guide wheels to the road and upstop wheels. This is a screenshot from Ryan the Ride Mechanics channel which shows the difference in the bogies before and after the modification was made. Notice the difference really can be seen on the part of the assembly which connects the road wheels which are on top of the track to the guide wheels which are on the side of the track. Ryan also does a good job explaining some of the more detailed intricacies of this so I will link his channel in the description if you want to check him out. And of course, we can now report that Top Thrill 2 has recently been testing with these new wheel assemblies, which is definitely a good sign for the ride. However, according to an article by Screamscape, it will not open in the foreseeable future. The article says, quote, From what I'm led to understand, a train is being made ready to make test runs so that they can watch and study the issues that took place in order to create a future redesign that will address those same problems. End quote. This leads me to believe that it could still be a couple of weeks to perhaps even a month or two before it possibly reopens. As we saw with Fury 325 last year, these sorts of closures can last a while. Fury closed on June 30 and tested three weeks later on July 18, but didn't open for another three weeks until August 10. I know the situation is a little different, but they both involve the recreation of a part of the ride which is fatiguing or failing unexpectedly and in Top Thrill 2's case, they have to re-engineer the failed part as well. Also, Tony Clark, the park's PR spokesperson, recently made an appearance on Sandusky's local radio station, 102.7 FM. He said, quote, We're working on it, and we are inching closer to an update, and this isn't some summer-long thing, this is a temporary thing, end quote. This at least offers some hope that Cedar Point's new for 2024 edition will open sometime this summer and will not be closed for the whole season, unlike another certain coaster from a neighboring state. However, we still have yet to see an actual time frame for the reopening of Top Thrill 2. The closure could extend as late as mid-July or maybe even August, however I doubt that is likely. Or it could reopen in the next couple of weeks, by late June. Nobody is really quite sure about the time frame, and just like Fury 325, it could be a long while before it reopens. But for now, we just have to wait and see what happens with this issue. Zamperla and Cedar Point are definitely working around the clock to develop a solution to this issue. Zamperla definitely can't let this damage their reputation on their first major roller coaster. And Cedar Point doesn't want this to have the same reliability and especially maintenance problems as the original. After all, that is the biggest reason why they renovated this ride, and if this has problems like Dragster did, it won't be a good look for the park or Zamperla. And that will be all for this update on Top Thrill 2. What are your thoughts on this closure, and when do you think it will reopen? Please leave your thoughts in the comments below. If you want to see more updates and theme park news, be sure to subscribe, and as always, thanks for watching.